Hey guys, it's me, Esther, Miss Manifesta, and I just want to say have an amazing Friday wherever you are in the world if you start watching this. But today I am going to share with you my vision board and something that I have manifested off my vision board. I'm not nervous doing lives, but I'm really nervous about this and you'll understand why when we get down to it. But I'm literally like, oh my God. I've never done a live like this, so I'm a bit like, oh my god. So, I'll just share it with you. Here is my vision board. So, on my vision board, I've got a lot of pictures <laughs> of myself. Uh, <laughs> and um, they are to do with how I feel about my body, how I, you know, how I want to feel in myself. So, that's why I've got those. I've got pictures of my daughter picture of me and my partner I've got a dollar I'm not from America but um we just had a dollar and I was like well I'll just stick that on the board um to attract money I've put a lot of things like my angel hi Sha like a lot of like my angel numbers on the board and then I've got this check on the top and I guess this check is kind of significant in the situation because the check says I want to manifest £10,000 and if you watch my YouTube channel, if you're subscribed to my YouTube, you'll know that in July I manifested, I said I manifested £3,000 but it was more than £3,000. So I manifested that money, that's probably the most money like I've ever manifested I guess just like out of really random stuff like in a month. and. The key with like doing your vision board is to make it about feeling good and um, becoming a vibrational match to the things you want. So that's why I put like, you know, pictures of my daughter and my partner and stuff on there because they've already manifested in my life, but they make me feel really good. Um, and obviously that attracts more love and abundance to my life. So um, that is how that's like literally one of my like tips for doing a vision board and I would love to run vision board workshops towards the end of this year whether that's online or in person if you're interested in that just drop me a comment and let me know so I manifested this money and um, one of the things on my vision board is my designer handbag that I have been going on about like I've literally been talking about buying a designer handbag I swear since I was like maybe like 21, I used to get, um, they were real like leather and stuff, but I used to get like fake uh, designer bags and stuff. I really appreciate quality. Hey, Katie Crumble. Um, hey, Trish. I really appreciate high quality things. Hey, Adam. Um, some people in the past have called me material, I can't even say it, materialistic. And I mean, yeah, like, I guess you could, say that I do I do value nice things because the craftsmanship is there things they last um I also think that why not treat yourself to things because it's sending out a positive um signal to the universe about how you value yourself um that you you think that you deserve to buy nice things <laughs> Simona you like you know um so um that is kind of one of the reasons why I like I like nice things and one of my tips is if there's something material that you want to buy um, but you're kind of like I can't afford it I really want you guys to just go and um, go to that show car showroom you know test test drive that car that you want go to the shop try on the dress I just want you to go and do it because if you can't see yourself with the material items that you're looking to manifest how do you ever expect to manifest them it's if you're kind of like you know what i can't afford that so there's no bloody point in even going to the store to look at it then you're sending out a huge signal and vibration of lack because you're like i don't have it i can't afford it so there's no fucking point just get down there <laughs> like take a selfie of yourself with it in the mirror you know touch it feel it you know it's all very sensory when you know how something feels it makes it a lot easier to manifest and visualize it coming to you because you know exactly what it is 
like you've held it in your hands it's real it's not just like out there on the internet and you can't have it so on Friday the 26th of July I went up to Harrods sort of with an intention to buy a bag sort of just being like whatever and um the bag on my board I really like this bag um but I kind of got there and was like like I managed to manifest a belt this year um with the same logo and I was like you know this sounds so diva but I was like I don't want to be that person that's got like a matching bag and a belt like it kind of it looks like you're trying too hard is what the uh the store assistant said so I was like okay um so I'm not gonna get one with the logo she tried to f sort of flog me a few other ones and I was like mm, not really sure babes um and you guys have actually been quite rude so I'm gonna like <laughs> I'm gonna leave now so I left I went away and I said to Isabel look um I obviously still want this bag but I said I don't want one with a big logo on it I want it to just be classic classy subtle Katie, I've always wanted a Chanel bag as well, and I drew a Chanel bag, but then I've really fallen in love with like the Gucci brand this year, so I moved it to Gucci, um, and anyway, so how many hours after, so literally I was there on the Friday, and on the Monday I woke up, and I had an email from this website, so a lot of my manifestation stuff happens early in the morning, so it's almost like I wake up, I have the message, the money's in the bank, um, I get the sign, I get the signal, like often happens as soon as I wake up. So I woke up, opened my inbox and it was there and it just said Gucci bag sale and it's like a secret uh, website that I'm a member of. Have not looked at this website, have not bought from this website for forever, like two years, three years. But I went on and I was literally like, oh my God. And all the bags had money off, no big logos. And I was kind of like, oh my God, like I've manifested this money. Do I do this? And the answer is, yes, I did. And I haven't even opened it. This is why I'm really nervous because I'm like, oh my God, I feel like I'm going on a first date with this box. And I'm like, am I gonna like this? <laughs> Um, is this gonna like me? I'm like, I'm bricking it. Um, so it's not opened at all guys. So I'm gonna unbox it in front of you. So this is like why I'm like, oh my God, I've never done anything like this before. So I manifested the money, over three grand, and I didn't obviously spend it all on this handbag. I'm, you know, investing it back into my house and stuff. But I'm like, this is it. So this is it, I'm opening the box. Oh my God. So, um, yeah, I'm freaking out. I had a dream last night as well that they sent me a River Island bag and, I, <laughs> and a load of perfume samples and a bar of chocolate. And I woke up and was like, that was shit. Like, really? So um, I'm praying, as much as I like River Island bags, that there is no River Island bag in this box. Well, I've, I've done the seal. This is going to be, this is going to show how dumb I am. I shouldn't even say that. It's just like negative affirmation. But I'm like, how do I get into this box? Olive, are you looking? My dog is like, oh my God, what's in the box? <laughs> Adam, first date. Babes, I was so nervous on our first date. I feel exactly the same. Opening this box. Oh my God. Ah, oh, freak it out. Um, so yeah, guys, you can make this happen if there's anything material you're wanting. But that was partly, like, like I said, I'm never nervous doing lives. But it's also like you worry a little bit that um, you might like get judged on the f fact that you've spent money on this. But honestly, I deserve it. I've worked bloody hard. I've manifested the money. I've gotten, I give no fucks. Oh my God. Right. It's, here we go. It's a nice size. <laughs> I wanted it to be big enough that I could put like, a little diary in and some bits. Oh, I can feel it through the bag. Ooh. <laughs> oh. I'm so excited. Look, here it is. Here it is. The neighbors can probably hear me through the wall and they're like, the fuck is she doing? What is she going on about? I'm taking off the polystyrene 
because nobody needs to see that. That's just crap. Oh, oh my God, I'm so excited to share this with you. And it's the perfect size. I was a bit like, I was measuring it out with, a, I, had a, I had a ruler and a piece of paper. And I was like going, oh, is it going to be about this size? So here it is. Isn't it beautiful? And then it opens and oh, more polystyrene. Don't need that in our lives. Killing the fish. Oh my God. More paper. And I've got, look, so it's got a lovely long strap. Oh my God. And this bag wasn't supposed to arrive for another two weeks. Oh, I see how it works now. There we go. Ta -da! Yes, manifesting amazing things in my life. <laughs> this is the best thing ever. That's like, not the best thing ever, ever, but I'm so, so happy. But we're going to Legoland this weekend, so I can't really take it to Legoland with me, can I? But um, me and Adam are going out for some food later. Um, so yeah, look, Gucci responsibility. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Um, no idea. It's kind of like a kind of canvas, a canvas lining, I guess you could say. Um, I am Simona. Thank you, and I'm so <laughs> I am so happy for myself as well. Like literally, I've been waiting so long to get like an actual designer bag and not one that was just a knockoff. And the universe sent me all the money like completely out of the blue. And I just feel truly blessed. And it's like, oh my God. It just, it's such a lovely size. What do you think, Olive? Where are you? Here you are. What do you think? Do you like it? Well, it's not yours, it's mine. So there you go, guys. That was my live manifestation unboxing of probably the, apart from my car and like, you know, home stuff, I guess luxury purchase, my first manifestation luxury purchase from the money the universe has gifted me. So, oh, it's a bit emotional, really. I should keep the bag on, uh, right, okay, so here's another thing. So you have a choice. You can kind of keep something on your board and be like, remind yourself and be like oh my god I manifested that um every time you look at it you're kind of like I've got this you know I've got the power or you can go um right that's manifested now you know kind of take it off your list and be like I've manifested that now am I going to fill a gap um I always say do what feels right for you one of the nice things about leaving it on your board is it's that permanent reminder of how blessed you are because it's kind of like you do need to keep feeling um, grateful. Oh, Adam, I'm not comparing you to a bag. I'm just comparing the experience of like, I don't know, I was really nervous of opening this box and I was just going to be like, oh, is this a waste of time? <laughs> But I knew you were never a waste of time, baby. Um, but it's that it's just nerves. It's just the nerves. Um, so yeah, you if you I'm just digging myself a massive hole. Um, if you um f don't feel grateful for what you've manifested, things can be taken away from you. Um gratitude is like one of the most powerful practices that you can practice to raise your vibration and to keep attracting more. So this is why I have like Adam and Ripley on my board because I don't ever want to take them for granted, you know? They're like <laughs> I'm pulling you toes, pulling my toes. Um I don't even know what to say. I'm like <laughs> Kate Kate where's Katie Crumble? She'll be like She'll have something to say. Something silly to say about that, I'd expect. Um, do you mean pulling my leg? Or is this like a kinky thing? Um, yeah, like if you... If I don't appreciate and nurture my family, my relationships, the things that I've already manifested, then they can be like... They, they can be taken away from you. You know, I believe what you take for granted... 
there's a bloody phrase that I came up with and it's gone. But yeah, you get it. You get what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, don't ever take anything for granted that you've manifested. Um, try not to be like, yeah, done, next. Um, so only take it off your board if you know that you can kind of keep maintaining that high vibe about it. Bye, Simona. Text me. Love you. Um, I put some things that I had manifested already. So things are right. So there's a so on my board as well. I've got things about the types of clients I want to work with. That's going really well. So it's all like manifestation clients, obviously. Um, but you know, influencers, people like that. That's all going really well, but I've kept it on there because it's still going. Um, it never ends. Um, what have I put on? Where's it gone? And also, I did a little update earlier in the year because my, if any of you knew, like, so basically my, they, I found out I had scoliosis and my arm got stuck. So like, it sounds really stupid, doesn't it? But my arm literally got stuck here. And I couldn't put my arm up in the air from... August to March and I just affirmed that my shoulder was healthy and then literally one day it sounds like a bit like too good to be true but it's not literally one day I was just like and that's it my arm is back up so I was just like oh my god it's a miracle fucking somebody call Jesus because it worked <laughs> um I do believe in God, uh, by the way. I use the word universe, God, etc., like all inter interchangeably. I'm just trying to find it. But it's in my gratitude jar because I kind of took it off and put it in there. So that's something that I manifested and I've took off the board. So now, yeah, I'm just weighing up whether to take the bag off or not. So, um, yeah, that's kind of it, really. So, yeah, make sure that you... Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel because they, you'll get videos on there that I don't post on Facebook. I'll post them on Instagram eventually and I might post them on Facebook eventually but like we're talking like a month or two later like I that's the whole point is that YouTube you get the first you get the first dibs on that content. Um, this week I talked about do you take action or do you let go like do you visualize or do you just fucking put it in a box and don't think about it again? which one do you do so i kind of addressed that conundrum oh thank you eugenia yeah health is yeah exactly health is so important like you're nothing without your health and i really did feel like my shoulder situation at one point was really bumming me out um but yeah all better now so that is that is so good and I, do you know what like i kind of was like i don't see how this is going to get better because like my whole shoulder blade is literally like popped out of its socket like how is that just gonna realign itself but it did so believe in the power of your mind and affirmations and miracles because like literally you can achieve anything with the power of your mind um and yeah if anybody's interested in doing vision board um workshops please uh drop me a any emoji just drop <laughs> just say yes to vision boards just say something and i'll um get in touch with you i want to i just kind of like want to work out what's the best way to do it because i'm based in bristol but i'd be happy to do like an online workshop on that and like i said don't be afraid to go out and see yourself with the things that you want to buy you know don't be like oh my god harrods is only made for a certain type of person I can't go here, I don't fit in. You know, you have to kind of be like, no, we're all equal. Like we're all collective consciousness. There is nobody who is like more worthy or, you know, like higher up in some like um, hierarchy system, you know, of consciousness. Everybody is equal, everybody is deserving. But, you know, you need to start doing those things that make you a vibrational match to manifesting things, especially objects. Go out, see yourself with it. Like I said, take the selfie, have fun, you know, see yourself with it, feel it, get tactile and just, you know, embrace wealth. Like, don't be afraid of wealth. You know, if you kind of just don't block it is what I'm trying to say. There's no need to block it. So that's that's it. I'm going to go now. I'll just flash the bag one more time. I want one of those little turntables that goes, but, um, I don't own one of those and I don't need one of those. So <laughs> you just have to put up with me, like giving it a little, uh, a little spin, but yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. So that is my 
really big manifestation that I've got off of my board. And I'm sending you loads and loads of blessings. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. Have a lovely day, Katie. Enjoy your comments. What have you been putting? Suck on my toes. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I'm going to make somebody laugh now. I hope I'm going to make somebody laugh. Me and Katie used to live together. And um, one time, literally, like we're talking like nine months after she left. I was like, what's that? And I pulled this, <laughs> her hair used to be like this long and it used to be red. And I pulled it out of my pants and I was like, what the hell? And I just said, I, was, I think I posted a status on Facebook and I said, it's been nine months and you're still trying to get in my pants, babe. And she was like, oh my God. Um, Katie's never tried to get in my pants, by the way, but it was a joke. And yeah, I don't really understand how that hair was still hanging around or what it was doing down there, but me and Katie got that kind of relationship. I love you, girl. Um, so yeah, have a really blessed Friday, guys. Any, you know, if you want to um, have a conversation about how to start attracting abundance into your life, please just drop me a message. Let's have a chat. Otherwise, have an amazing weekend. I'm gonna actually probably tune off for most of the weekend because it's my daughter's birthday. Like I said, we're going to Legoland. I want to be really present with her and my partner. So yeah, I'll see you on the flip side and. I'm sure I'll be posting some pictures of me out with my bag. Bye, guys.